Howdy folks. Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Hoppy by Nature from Braided River Brewing out of Mobile, Alabama. Hey everybody, appreciate you guys checking us out here on Hopped Up Beer Review. We are the show that gives you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking. There's nobody else out on YouTube that does that, so uh, we are that show. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. And also check us out on social media. The links are below in the description. I've got Jay. I've got Andy in the attic. I am Ben. We are ready to review some beer. What are we doing today, boys? So today, we're going to go down to the lovely city of Mobile, Alabama, and we're going to have Braided River Brewing Company's Hoppy by Nature. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to Richard Whitehurst. He's their CFO. Um, good friend of mine. He's uh, provided this beer and a couple others for us, and always uh hooks me up whenever i'm down in that area so i hope this will not affect your score though i mean we've <laughs> got to we've got to stay true to our uh, unprofessional and somewhat biased moniker here uh -oh. here is the uh, somewhat biased review. so it will you know <laughs> something happened my beer you. like got cracked i can't help <laughs> it <laughs> right. itself. there you go so this guess, is a uh, ipa it comes in at 6%. Uh, Andy, did you check the IBUs? How in the world do they do zero IBUs? What? Oh. Is that even legal? How do you do zero mm. IBUs in an IPA? I'm just going by untapped because their website did not have a lot of information about it. But you can definitely get those that fruit. You got some mango, pineapple, and grapefruit in this one. Yep. And so it's a relatively new brewery. I don't know. You probably got some details on that, Andy. Nope. Uh, <laughs> it's a micro. But, it is a um, micro. And, and they're one of those that, unfortunately, uh, they, they uh, opened their tap room, their brewery at the start of the pandemic. So <laughs> it's um, they have a yeah. tap I didn't room know when. Downtown Mobile. Yeah. So right around, um, um, literally, I think it was of uh, – 2020 okay. or so um but um they've managed to to do fairly well with the ability to uh have um uh, the sales uh, you know to go sales and things like that so and the distribution they're actually in several grocery stores across the gulf coast cheers mates cheers mates cheers mates I got to think if you own a brewery too, you don't really expect to make up really any money for the first several years. So, you know, I mean, you, you obviously got to be creative, especially when you enter a pandemic, but right. I think if there's a bonus, there's probably a lot more people drinking uh, yeah. during that time period because of just what's going on in the world. Um, but, you know, I, I was going to say that I, I think I can, smell at least a few ibus out of this uh, <laughs> yeah it might be that they just don't uh, you know untapped is is uh, unfortunately on untapped anybody can upload the beer and put put the information yeah. in there so right. it's probably one where um somebody else uploaded it and put the data in there and didn't put the ibus so it was yeah. never corrected at some point or another because there's um, there's some bitter there taste are to it but yeah, um, not overpowering, but it, it's there is some there. It's got the name um, Braided River because of the Mobile Tensaw River Delta, which feeds into Mobile Bay. So it's on the north uh, northern side of Mobile Bay, and the way all those, you know, we're going to go back to a little geography class, a little physical science from junior high, uh, a river delta, things like that all these small rivers tributaries weave in and out it looks like it's braided and that's why they call it braided river yeah so they they do some uh, i've had several of their beers like i said richard's always uh, 
been very kind to me when I travel through that area and it will give me some samples of various things to try when I'm headed to the beach. And so I've had uh, some of their sours and Kolsch and uh, uh, even some others that we've got coming up, maybe uh, another special King Cake edition uh, in the future. Looking forward to that one. So I think it's one that they did that was a much higher IBU than the previous uh, King Cakes that we reviewed. I think it was a, a stout that's somewhere around 10%, if I'm not mistaken. So I have to have very a special, f- special night for that one. <laughs> it's very fitting seeing that uh, Mardi Gras started in the U.S., started in Mobile mm-hmm. versus New Orleans. Yeah, they played around with it. They weren't, um, when I talked to the folks there, they, they weren't as pleased with the way it turned out, but um, I, I've tried it and I thought it was pretty excellent. So, Yeah, if uh, for those of you that are, haven't, haven't watched all every single episode, I mean, you know, you can definitely binge us, uh, probably take, you know, a night or two and just go through the whole catalog. But yeah. Um, our very first episode was a king cake uh, ale, um, so uh, definitely, definitely one that we're looking forward to uh, trying here soon uh, from Brave River. Uh, another another king cake, so excited excited to give that one a shot. Um, so I've, I've uh, had this before. Um, I, I, I'm fairly certain neither of you guys have. Dude, I never heard of them until you gave us these cans. <laughs> yep. So, well, the next time you go to the beach, I mean, obviously they're they're all throughout there on the Gulf Coast. You guys know those um, uh, they're in the grocery store Rouse's markets. So, all of those through that chain, and I think some of the Brunos and others down there. So they've they've got a pretty good distribution in the restaurants and the grocery stores down there. All right, definitely have to check them out. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely appreciate you, you grabbing this and, and shared it with us. Um, uh, definitely interesting for a new brewery. You know, we, we were recently, uh, together at Brock's Gap and that was a, a fairly new, uh, brewery. And, uh, it, it's great to see all these new breweries coming out with beer and, you know, seeing more out there. Uh, because uh, you know it, it just gives us more content to uh, to produce uh, over the, the coming years, uh, decades, millennium, you know, uh, whatever the case <laughs> may be, however long we can keep doing this. So uh, excited about that! Uh, all right, let's go around and rate this. Oh, um, okay, here we are. So yeah, well, I mean, you, you're talking about tributaries and you know deltas and I don't know. So, uh, Andy, what do you think? <laughs> I um, uh, the more I drink it, the more I like it. Um, I was just kind of, I was a little trying to f- place it the first sip because it's an American IPA. Um, you know, I was thinking, okay, it's, it's I, whether, you know, we discussed is it zero IBU correct? Don't know, but you know, it was low on bitter, a lot of fruit. I like that. It's almost close to a, a juicy feel to it. So the more I drink it, the more I like it. And I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Um, I would definitely have it again. Um, it, it's a good one. Um, it's not that, it's not obnoxious on the hops, which um, sometimes it can, you know, some that you have that can get out of hand, but um, I like to get that fruit feel um, out of an IPA too, so. I wish I knew which kind of hops because, you know, I'm like, is it like a citro type of to hops, you know, or that East East coast type. So 7.5. I like it. Um, yeah. You know, we always talk about me not being the IPA guy here. Uh, so um, I come in with that, that kind of lens, if you will. Um, Jay, were you talking about that? I wasn't talking about that. Me? Uh-huh. You got a mouse in your pocket, you and, Grogu there, you know. <laughs> I used I used the collective we, you know. Uh, okay. So, uh, you know, I don't I don't like to talk about myself too much. I, I like to include other people. So the old English, like the Queen or something. Uh, you know, whoever. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm I'm really surprised I don't classify this one as a hazy um, because of that mm-hmm. floral and that 
juice and you know it's it's not i mean it looks like an unfiltered and and you know it's hazy um because that's what it tastes like to me though you know if, if you handed this to me and said hey what does this taste like a hazy ipa all day long um so uh, you know i, I if you're going to give me the choice between a hazy ipa and an ipa i'm going to choose hazy all day long uh you know because it does tend to cut some of that bitter out um so i, I think for this one I, I think it's good i think um you know like you said it's not too overpowering on the bitter which is typically something i don't like um and so uh it's it's tasty you know there's nothing but good here uh i think seven and a half is it's a great spot for it uh as well well yeah i was just trying to think back um i was there in march um and, and had a really good visit to the tap room with Richard and the staff. Uh, they were fantastic. They gave us a little brewery tour. Um, I, I'm a little aggravated at myself for not uh, taking some video and, and doing more. I was trying to think back if they actually had a hazy on tap. I don't think they did. I know they had like a, an Imperial or a double um they had a couple of sours and and some browns and things like that but uh, um you know it's it's ironic you guys give that rating because that's the exact rating that i give this beer is a seven and a half i, I think it's it's a solid offering from braided river um being a relatively new brewery um I, I was really impressed with the way that they were doing things and uh, the production that they were outputting so I'm uh, glad we were always able to share this with you guys. So, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm really curious and going in why they call it a hoppy by nature. And, you know, it, it doesn't taste really hoppy or bitter. And so, yeah, if you, you talk to your bud there, yeah, well, see I'll try how they got that him. name. I know they did change the recipe from the first version of hoppy by nature that they had. Um, when I, when I tried it in 2020 to um, this one here, um, it's different. Uh, I think they had a brewery changeover, a brew, brewmaster changeover, or changed the hop slightly. Um, I do know a lot of what they do um, with their names and things like that, and, and even to the Braided River aspect, they try to be more green and nature-oriented. So I think that that ties to them. So they try to put fun names like, you know, their, their, um, their sour is called like summer crush or things like that. So um, their Kolsch is called beer here now. I mean, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. And to that, to that point, if you, if you read, you know, some of the information on the can here, kind of the last line here says, stay hoppy stay relaxed stay outside yeah they're big uh, outdoors which, man, so yeah so uh so that that makes some sense but you know i think i think that's a great point andy that you know uh maybe that would be a, a name better saved for like a west coast uh you know ipa or uh something that that wasn't the hazy uh type like 100 uh, ibu type exactly yeah <laughs> uh so All right. Well, as the T-shirts that we recently had made up say, three wrongs make a right. Uh, so uh, we're seven and a half on this one. Uh, we all gave it seven and a half. Easy math, easy to do for, for idiots like us. So, uh, you know, Braid River Brewing Company, Hoppy by Nature, seven and a half from Hop to Beer Review. Um, definitely one that no matter what your – uh, what kind of beer you like to drink it's definitely one worth trying uh, because we've got the ipa guy we've got the non-ipa guy and we've got the everything guy all given a seven and a half so i think that's uh gives us a uh you know a, a well-rounded um score here from braided river braided river on hobby by nature so you guys check that out uh definitely again let us know if you, if you happen to see it you get, you get your hands on it let us know what you think about it um be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on social media. For Jay and Andy in the attic, I am Ben. Cheers, mates.
Tschüss, Mates. Tschüss, Mates.